Hey guys, welcome back to Stuff and Things. Dan here with a couple exciting and awesome examples of people standing up for human rights. Um, I'll get to them right now. Yesterday, assuming everyone actually saw this, and hopefully everyone did, and hopefully it's reporting everywhere, Democratic Senator Wendy Davis from Texas stood up and declared all the flaws and all the problems she had with a proposed well, anti-abortion bill, that's what's being labeled as, um, put forth by Republican senators in Texas. Not too big a deal, except she did stand and defend it for 13 hours. During her 13 hours of deliberation, she could not rest, she could not stop, she couldn't even lean against the desk, or else the Republicans should have been, could have been like, no, she needs to secede the floor, whatever they call it when they're being dicks in politics. Uh, and she had to stay on topic through the entire 13 hours she had to discuss all her problems with the bill. The bill itself has some good points. Uh, they do want to restrict abortions past 20 weeks, which seems a little little much to me. I mean, 20 weeks is like five months. I think in Canada here, and I think in Europe, it's like 12 months, or 12 weeks you can't have an abortion, so, eh. But the main part is they would be requiring the clinics to actually get upgraded to be like ambulance centers and require doctors to have admittance rights to hospitals within a certain radius, pretty much eliminating all of these in any sort of rural areas. And this is Texas we're talking about. It's huge. It's the second largest state in the union. It's got a huge rural community. There's 26 million people in that state. One of the most populous, again, in the union. And you're trying to restrict a lot of those people from having abortions, I'd be fine with it if the bill also included funding. If it was like, yes, you have to upgrade this, here is set amount of money um, to help you guys do it. You know, even if they didn't pay for all of it, if they paid for most of it or some of it, you know, subsidize it a bit, I would understand that. Because, you know, giving women better access to doctors and everything would actually be a pretty good thing if you paid for it. And then just the, nope, cut off. And the only reason she even went this far with it is because it was at the deadline. The deadline was going to be midnight uh, last night. And they, the Republican senators blocked testimonials from doctors and women who were actually trying to be opposed to this. They didn't let anyone else talk about it. So she had to go that extra step to actually fight for, I mean, women's rights, but just people's rights. Fight for human rights. And the good news does not stop coming in regards to defense of human rights as the U.S. Senate struck down the Defense of Marriage Act on the federal level, meaning, federally speaking, whatever, gay marriage, whatever you want to do, marry whoever you want, it doesn't matter. They specifically cited the Fifth Amendment uh, in regards to having everyone having equal liberty. You can't incriminate someone for something and not someone for something else. And in a double whammy decision, they also struck down Prop 8, which if you're not familiar with what's been happening in the states the last few years, Proposition 8 was put forth in the California legislature, uh, making gay marriage illegal there. So they also killed that. So double wins for gay marriage. Awesome. And again, this just goes back to what is a person who actually is outside of everything. Like, I'm a dude, so therefore abortion really not too big of an issue for me. Um, and I'm not gay. So there we go. So realistically, realistically speaking, I have no say in any of these matters, except more maybe if it was my child, a uh, future child that would be an abortion, then I guess I would have a say, um, but it's still not my body that things are happening to, so. Again, that's the tricky thing with me presenting this information is that I'm just like, sure, whatever, I don't see a problem. Why would I? I'm a dude. I'm straight. This doesn't affect me. Imagine that. It doesn't affect me, guys. I don't have to get worried about it. Love to know your guys' opinions on these, if you are in favor or not of various things. I don't know why you wouldn't be in favor, but maybe you have some good arguments. I'm willing to listen. And of course, if you like what you've seen, do not forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons, and we'll see you on the next video.